A rainy day isn't so bad if it can help you save money and the environment. The Regional Water Authority is providing rain barrels to folks in the greater New Haven area. News 8 Sam Cantro shows us how they're being used. During the summertime months, one of the largest resources that you use a lot more of is water. And now, thanks to the Regional Water Authority, you have the ability to collect it, and you can do it for really cheap. Water is a precious resource, and we think that people should use it wisely. It might be something we take for granted, but especially during the summer, Connecticut residents use a lot of water. About 40% of people's water use during the summer months or the warm months is outdoors. And uh, this can help supplement their regular water use out of their home by using the barrels. So, in an attempt to help conserve water, the Regional Water Authority is offering 50 gallon rain barrels to their customers. And collecting that free rainwater could not be any easier. The natural rainwater that comes in is, is often never used. But a rain barrel allows a homeowner to capture it, consume it, and distribute it even to his or her garden. Uh, it's a resource that, that most people don't think of. And it's a resource that's used plenty with the Connecticut Autobahn Society, who now has four barrels collecting rainwater right from their gutters, and using it is extremely easy. You can use that to water your garden, wash off your car, um, any sort of outdoor chores that you don't need, uh, you know, our high-quality tap water for. You can use rainwater just as well. You can open up the water flow, and it's just natural gravity that feeds it out. And the best part? All free water. And if someone doesn't capture it and direct it to good use, it's not put to its best value. And the price for these? Just $68 for you to be able to have 50 gallons of free water at a time. Makes a great Father's Day gift, and you can order them through the Regional Water Authority up to this weekend. In Milford, I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro, News 8.